headed out to one of my facilities. The only thing, the only information that I got was that the the cart runs fine. It's just the, the battery cables are severely corroded. So let's go out here and check this out and see what we can get ourselves into. Guys, check this thing out. I hadn't worked on this thing in a hot minute. It's a little three-wheeler golf cart. It's got Harley Davidson on it, but it's not a, oh, I forgot who, I think it's a Cushman. That's what this is, an old three-wheeler Cushman. And uh, let's tilt this bed back. Give it the CRC treatment, cleaner, protector. Oh yeah, we got some corrosion going on. That's normally caused from loose connections, bad connections, leaking acid. These batteries, I shoot, I, I, I think I put a set of batteries in this thing probably five or six years ago. So let's go ahead and get this CRC cleaner on here. Check out how the motor is. It's at an angle right into the differential and there's the brake. Pretty simple. So easy to work on these older golf carts. These newer golf carts, shoot. I'd rather work on the old stuff. Shake the can up real good and let's just go ahead and give it a good dousing. Alrighty guys, sorry for the wind noise. But this is what I do. I literally coat the whole battery because it's just there's acid just sits on everything and everywhere is yellow is pretty clean if it turns pink. That means you still have acid on it. I'm gonna let this sit here and soak for a little bit. guys they made me move my truck now I don't have enough I don't I can't uh, I don't have enough air hose to reach over there I was gonna use my whiz wheel and a scotch bright to clean all the terminals off and the clean the cables but we'll just do it by hand I got some uh, scotch bright right here just want to take each terminal clean them off the best you can Good. Clean, clean, clean. Can't stress anymore. It just needs to be clean. Clean and tight. Always tighten and double check all your connections when you're done. If you ever get one that's whenever you tighten it and the cable wants to move with it, just push it back over and use your, put your finger on the cable and then tighten it up. That'll normally quit that from rotating as you tighten it up. Always check your battery water and make sure that your electrolyte is at least a quarter inch over your plates. Just check each one. These all look good. one that's just a little low so we'll add some water to this battery and yeah just need to add water to one battery out of all six of them that's pretty good that means that they are keeping up the maintenance on these I don't have to fire nobody today kind of let them dry and uh, we'll put some battery protector on these 
So instead of having an electronic speed controller, it's just got a bank of solenoids for your kind of, it, it's kind of neat how it goes from low speed to high speed. Once you, uh, there's a, a wiper arm in there, kind of like a, on a rheostat and it senses voltage and it opens up or turns on different solenoids as you're going. That's called a hot dog cooker. That is basically a big old resistor. And that thing will turn cherry red, believe it or not. These things have known to, to cause grass fires. One last tip before I let you guys go, always spray you some protection, protector. This will neutralize any acids that, has, that you've gotten on your tools. And once that dries, I'm just gonna lay it right there, but once that dries, you just wipe it off, use some brake clean, and it'll be good to go. Hey, if this content helped you out, and I know it did on this video, give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there doing that, go ahead and click that bell so that you get all of my new content. Y'all have a great day. Mower Medic One.